So as a team and split the credit, after completing this unit, you will be able to explain when to use opportunity teams and account teams, apply revenue splits and overlay splits to an opportunity. So as a team, it often takes a team to close a deal in Salesforce, adding an opportunity team helps team members work together and track the opportunity's progress. Opportunity teams are a bit like account teams. Both let you relate particular people at your company to account opportunities, but whereas account team members can be expected to form a long-term relationship with a customer, an opportunity team is a temporary group. It's composed of people who can help you close a deal. Opportunity team members have special visibility into an opportunity such as related chatter posts. If you often work with the same co-workers on your opportunities, create a default opportunity team and automatically add that team to all new opportunities. Default opportunity teams make it easy to set up sales teams for your opportunity teams. If you have set up a default account team, you can add it to an opportunity instead of an opportunity team. Split credit for an opportunity. Your Salesforce admin can enable opportunity splits to give opportunity team members incentives to complete a deal by letting the opportunity owner share credit. If you are the opportunity owner or above the, op all above the owner in the role hierarchy, you can add and adjust splits to an opportunity. At Cloud9 Trade Show, you run into a colleague from the Cloud Cakes London office, Robin Singh. Robin introduces you to Carter McLeod, who runs the UK subsidy of Get Cloudy Consulting. Carter loves the custom sneakers you sold to Get Cloudy for the San Francisco conference. He wants similar sneakers for employees attending a conference in Europe. You exchange contact info with Carter. You create an opportunity for the European sneakers. Use the opportunity team related list to add Robin Singh to the opportunity team. So we can just like go here. Related list. I'm not really sure where this is here. It's just uh, the contact rules, on the details. Yeah, I don't really see this here. I think in my case I need to enable this. Um, I think most people watching this probably uh, aren't necessarily uh, interested in admin stuff and just want to see how this works from a sales perspective. But I'm going to go through this here anyway. I'm going to go to the opportunity object in the object manager. And there we go to page layouts, opportunity layout. Let's see if it's there. I don't think the opportunity team is there, so that's for team. The only related list. Going to add a related contact here. Let's 
so I had a look here and apparently it needs to be enabled so you go to the setup and then uh, you enter here in a quick search team and there you can find the opportunity team settings and you enable team selling and save it and then it should Show there and let's see. Show, shows already if we need to manually add it to the page layout. And there we have it, it's already there, which is good. And then we need to add a, um, opportunity team members. So let's add the search manager Alex Patel. Yeah, I'll we'll have to add new users. Okay, let's just add like a bunch of other people. Um, I don't need to add completely new accounts, which would be kind of a hassle. Over the next month, Robin works with Carter locally in London and coordinates with the team in San Francisco to make sure that Carter's experience with Cloud Kicks is good. Along the way, Carter requests a custom logo. In the Opportunity Splits related list, add splits by clicking Edit Opportunity Splits. Sure, where that's supposed to be. Probably need to enable this in the page layout. All the opportunity object. No, it's not there. So apparently this needs to be enabled as well, just like team selling. So let's just enable this. The more you know. Just leave the defaults here, enable. And let's see if it's 
shows up in the opportunity right away or if we need to manually edit it in the layout. Okay, now we have the splits related list here. If you're just a salesperson, you probably don't want to know about any of this. But if it's not there, you can just tell your admin um, what needs to be done. That split, as well as team selling actually needs to be enabled. So let's edit this here. Two kinds of splits, revenue splits are for crediting team members who are directly responsible for the revenue on an opportunity revenue splits total always total to 100% of the opportunity amount. Then uh, as the opportunity owner you get 100% of the revenue by default. For this opportunity adjust your revenue percentage to 20% for managing and finalizing the deal with your relationships at Cloudy Consulting. Add a split for Robin and give her 80% of the revenue for managing most of the sales cycle. So we already did something similar, so... Now click the overlay tab. Not really sure where that's supposed to be. Split gives you a way to credit supporting team members. It can total any percentage of the opportunity amount, including a percentage of over 100%. To attract a business, the designer help close you at the designer as an overlay split with 101% credit. At Cloudflix, designers with the most business impact receive an end of year bonus. Okay, so it's basically paid out to him as an end of year bonus. Um, it's not directly related to the revenue split between the people that worked on the opportunity if i understand that right team members working on the opportunity can roll their individual sales credits into forecasts and into quota pipeline reports for the entire team to generate reports use one of the following report types split opportunities split opportunities with products split opportunities with products and schedules so we have a quiz here, thank god we were able to sort this out, um, which of the following op K 
can you expect from opportunity teams? They form long-term relationships with customers. They share information, tips or contacts that have closed a deal. They split credit equally on every opportunity. Well, equally, I don't know if that can be expected, but... I would say B and, T, B and C. Okay, account team members from long term. The temporary group. No, I would say B and C. And equally, I don't know, depends on, on the person. A bit tricky, I would say, just B because equally, I don't know. To close the deal, you need support from a solution designer. What split type do you use to assign credit for the solution engineer? Any overlay split of 100% for you and 100% for your solution engineer. I would maybe go for D. Solution engineer. Hmm. It's really hard to say. Maybe we, we split like fifty fifty. So it's hard to say the exact right answer because because also um, doing overlay splits well, let's just say D. And I actually got this right. So let's tackle the next unit.